Hi folks, Dave here again. Uh, this is a continuation of videos that uh, we started about a year ago uh, on YouTube uh, called Basement Hydroponics. Um, this time around we're going to talk about the new system I've built in my new place. Um, it's a bit different than the last one. We've made some improvements, had to re-engineer a little bit. The uh, simple fact is we've got uh, less room horizontally and more room vertically. So we had to re-engineer just a little bit, uh, as I said before. Um, it is December the 18th. It's pretty cotton thick and cold outside, but uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what's possible uh, should you want one of these systems in your home. Um, all you really need to do is find, have a little bit of space to make this happen, whether the system be small or large. Um, let's take the camera here and point it over to the... These are actually the same systems I had last year, uh, but we did have to make some adjustments. And I built a new frame for it and made it a little prettier, I guess, than uh, last year. These things don't have to be ugly. Um, I did use 2 by 4s and just some basic framework. Uh, and spent a little more time uh, painting them and uh, making them look a little bit better. The, the bottom row down there is 4 inch PVC. Uh, the middle and the top, as I call the penthouse up there, are 3 inch PVC. And they are fed by this 3 quarter inch uh, PVC pipe with the feeder tubes um, that run water through both systems 24 7 and feed the plants all the nutrient solution that they, they want. Uh, the lighting system are actually just some El Cheapo Walmart fixtures that I bought for, I think it was eight bucks a piece, eight, nine bucks a piece, and the lights were about the same as well. They're T12s, they're, they're uh, aquarium grow lights. Uh, you're supposed to use T5 from a lot of the things that I'm reading, but to be honest with you, I have never ever had any problem growing lettuce or anything else uh, with this type of lighting. And it's cheap, it doesn't put out a lot of heat, it doesn't draw a lot of power. So. You'll barely see a difference in your electric bill. Um, they do have two lights apiece, and it's probably the most expensive part of the whole system, but it does the job. Uh, you can see, like I say, it's December, and uh, we've got quite a crop of lettuce going on here. Uh, a lot of different varieties. Uh, we did try and grow some spinach this year, which didn't fare that well. It took off really fast, and then all of a sudden it just kind of bolted the seed, but maybe we'll try that later on in the, uh, the aquaponics system. Of course, there's my little uh, hand pollinator. We have no bees in here, of course, whether it be winter or summer. So you just kind of tickle the flowers with this and spread the pollen around, and uh, that does the trick to pollinate the, uh, the flowers when need be. And, of course, our little cherry tomato plants back here, they do have uh, some uh, little buds on them, some little flower buds on just about all of them. And there's a big old leaf lettuce uh, that's doing real well. These are just little 16-ounce uh, solo cups that I've taken a soldering iron and melted some holes in them so the water flows through there and the hydrogen pellets also give them give, give the roots some structure and they are doing very very well. Moving on down to the end of the system you can see the drain manifolds that uh, had to be assembled. By the way that is nine feet tall from ceiling to floor. The back row up top is a little difficult to get to but with the ladders it's not, it's not that big of a deal just to clip off uh, a few leaves of lettuce when you need it. We've got a lot of it growing out there and we're going to be doing some heavy grazing this week so that's why I'm shooting this video. I've got to cut some of it down before it, uh, it bolts to seed itself. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, uh, storage bins down here. They're, you, most of you know they're pretty cheap. You can buy them for four or five bucks a piece. Uh, they've, each one of those tanks have a uh, pump in it. Uh, the one on the right pumps the nutrient solution to the bottom uh, set of pipes and the one on the left is a little more powerful to take it all the way up to the top. And there's a couple of air stones in each one of them to aerate the water. It's a 55 gallon drum that I bought for $15 uh, that I just fill with tap water and I let the chlorine just aerate out of it over, over a couple of days and uh, then I add it to the systems as need, need be. I change the nutrient solution out about once every two weeks. Give them some fresh food. New system I built here, I'm going to have to back up just a little bit because this camera doesn't have a wide angle lens. Uh, this is the aquaponic system. This is 100% organic. Uh, it uses no chemical fertilizers. It uses simply fish waste. And it pumps it much in the same way up through a series of pipes. 
into the grow beds where it is cleaned and filtered, drained back down to the fish tank, perfectly clean for the fish. Meanwhile, the plants will soak up the, uh, the, the fish waste as a nutrient and food, and uh, it's just a, a closed loop system. These are all cherry tomato plants up on top here. And these, these bins that you see right here, these are actually um, what they call their feed bunks for cattle. I uh, found them on the internet and I thought they might make good grow beds and they actually turned out real well. Um, they're pretty solid um, and they just they work out generally well. They're about eight feet long and about uh, eight inches deep. Preferably they need to be a little bit deeper but I'll tell you what, uh, after transplanting a few of these from the hydroponic system, these plants are doing real well. They actually have cherry tomatoes on them already, if I can find them. Yeah, there's one up there. Uh, there's several different, uh, there's a lot of tomatoes on a lot of different plants up here. I think there's some more over here. Anyway, those are all cherry tomatoes, and those are about as big as they get. Uh, down on the bottom uh, tier, we've got uh, broccoli growing here and you can see the difference between this and the hydroponics. Not that the hydroponics are doing bad, but the aquaponic is definitely doing better. You can <clears throat> see by looking at this leaf lettuce uh, <clears throat> that it's doing very, very well. Uh, below that we've got our uh, compost worms, which we take all of our vegetable scraps and eggshells and banana peels and put them in there for the worms. And then I also take uh, some worms and I put them in the grow beds and they eat any of the leftover fish poop and I throw a few banana peels in there every every uh, couple of days because I eat bananas every morning and the worms will feed off that and the fish poop and create their own fertilizer which in essence is better than the uh, fish poop for fertilizer. So in effect it just uh, uh, duplicates what, what occurs naturally in nature. About three weeks ago I threw in uh, about a dozen goldfish. You can see the little guys swimming around there. They've about doubled in size in three weeks. Yesterday I uh, put in 24 tilapia fingerlings. They were a little smaller than I expected and uh, the little goldfish started chasing them around almost immediately and had to kind of think fast and throw some food in there to distract them, but they seem to be getting along just fine now. You can see a few of those old guys down there. It'll be interesting to see how fast they grow and hopefully they grow fast so the goldfish won't bother them too much. But I've made a couple of uh, artificial habitat out of some leftover PVC for them. So at least they got a place to go, go and hide when they want in a five gallon bucket. Drill through that with a hole saw in a few places so that they can swim in and out of their little caves. I did have to brave the uh, holiday traffic today. I don't recommend that for anybody. You can go to a pet store and buy a, uh, a water heater, an aquarium heater. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the water in this tank is not as warm as tilapia would like. They prefer at least 75 degrees, and I took my thermometer and measured it a little while ago, thinking that it was warmer than it was. It's actually uh, about 69 degrees, so hopefully in a few hours that will heat this up uh, more to their liking. Uh, another system in the works over here, it's not up and running yet, is my vertical strawberry tower. It is hydroponic as well, where there's a pump in there, and pumps water up through this pipe here up to the top and then discharges into the top of the tube where it trickles on down and completes the cycle. I've ordered the seeds and I'm going to get a light next week and we'll check back with that. Um, for those of you uh, on Facebook, we do have a page uh, there called Otter Ponics, that's spelled O-T-T-E-R, just like the mammal. Because folks, if you don't grow in water, you otter. And the new place I have moved here is, is not a house, believe it or not. This is Actually, a, an apartment, and <laughs> I'll take you outside and show you. Just to prove a point that you can do this just about anywhere you've got a little bit of extra space. It's actually a two-car garage in which I took some basic framework and split the garage right in two, uh, and just temporarily screwed it to the wall and put two layers of plastic over it, and it just stays nice and toasty in here all the time. anybody has any questions, please feel free to give me a call. I'm at 816-785-2774. Uh, it's 816-785-2774. One more thing is uh, I do have a chart on the wall or a dry erase board which I keep track of my water. Always watch your water. W -W -W -Y -W. Uh, especially with the aquaponics in the first 